In this video, we'll balance the equation for the decomposition of KHCO3. This is potassium hydrogen carbonate, sometimes called potassium bicarbonate. So the first thing we'll do to balance the equation, count the atoms up. We need to be careful here. For the reactants, we have one potassium, one hydrogen, one carbon, and three oxygens. In the reactants, we have two of these potassium atoms. Hydrogens, we have two. Carbons, we have one plus don't forget the one in carbon dioxide there. So we have two of those. And then oxygen, we have three plus two, plus we have the one in water. So we have a total of six. Often people forget to count all these other oxygens out here, and then it's very difficult to balance the equation. I'd like to leave oxygen atoms till last. Let's balance the potassium. We could put a coefficient of two in front of the KHCO3, one times two. That would give us two of those. Those are balanced. One hydrogen times two, that gives us two hydrogens. Those are balanced. One carbon times two, again, that balances the carbons. And finally, we have three oxygens times two, that gives us six, we're done. This equation is balanced. The thing that really gives people problems is they don't count both of the carbons or they don't count all of the oxygen atoms. Otherwise, it's not too bad to balance this equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for KHCO3 decomposing. Thanks for watching.